Hi, my name is Chris Davis from Engage Insight, and this whiteboard session is all about defining your mission statements within your strategic planning process. And mission statements are crucial to get right at the start of the process. They're all about your core purpose as a business, and, and it aligns everybody, all stakeholders involved with the business, uh, moving forward to, to achieving your objectives and your goals. Key characteristics that we've found working with clients which uh, are very helpful in defining a mission statement are issues like what are the values of the business and the individuals involved in the business. And that could be anyone from the staff, the board, could be um, external NEDs um, that you might have, non executive directors. It, it could be um, looking at what your clients value to make sure that you're highly client centric. There's a great business book by uh, Dr. Stephen Covey, which talks about the seven habits of highly effective people which he talks about is so important to understand what your values are and align them with the principles of doing business. And if you have that aligned, then you find what he calls your due north and therefore everything flows uh, it perfectly. So from that point of view, it's very important to look at values, look at what pe your people value, what your business values and align that, for example, with what your clients value. The next area really is looking about motivation. It's basically ensuring that your mission statement is highly inspiring. It really is you know, showcasing why you're different and, and what you're trying to achieve, that you're making a difference um, in your everyday business activities. What we then want really is what we call your epitaph scenario, which is effectively you know, what you want to be remembered for. So what we're talking about you know, is how memorable do you want to be in the market that you're in. What is it you want on your epitaph, if you like, when you leave the market? We have to be also very practical and market focused. And obviously that's important when we're talking about values, when we're talking about what our clients value, that's key. So those are really just four characteristics of, of what can make a really highly effective mission statement. And how we do that, well, you know, the first important thing we need to look at is get people involved, the people that matter, who are your staff, your clients, your board. You know, get them involved and find out what their ideas are, what they want to see in a good mission statement, what they think the business is all about. Once you've got that, really, it's, it's all about looking at the process that you put into place to get that information, which could be focus groups, it could be meetings, um, uh, it could be surveys that you're putting together. And once you've got that, then really what you're trying to build is a philosophy of doing business. And that is really at the core. If you're, you know, you're looking at it from a, a business development point of view, this really, the philosophy, should be at the core of everything that you're doing. So my top tip for you, for your mission statement, is what we call the T-shirt test. If you put your mission statement on a t-shirt, would your staff and your clients wear it? <laughs>